मैं सर डॉक्टर के विष्णु आलम राजू इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनाटिकल इंजीनियरिंग जिंडिगल हाइड्रोबॉर्ड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मॉडिफाइड स्कॉट रसल मैकेनिज्म व्हाट मैकेनिज्म एंड चिपचिप्स मैकेनिज्म्स दिस आर ऑल दिस मैकेनिज्म्स कम्स अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ स्ट्राइट लाइन मोशन मैकेनिज्म्स सो हियर द मॉडिफाइड स्कॉट रसल मैकेनिज्म is also known as called as a grasshopper mechanism this mechanism why it is called as a, this mechanism is a modified version of scott russell mechanism that's why it is a modified scott russell mechanism in which what we will do that here what is the difference between scott russell mechanism and this modified scott russell mechanism or cross hopper mechanism in scott russell mechanism the sliding pair will be there here that sliding pair is replaced by a by a turning pair and that's why it is a modified scott russell mechanism so it is modified this cross hopper mechanism is modified version of a scott russell mechanism now why we have turned what is the reason behind in order to before in scott russell mechanism there will be a sliding pair there will be a sliding pair in a scott russell mechanism this sliding pair in scott russ this is a scott russell mechanism this sliding pair when sliding pair he moves when sliding pair moves horizontal direction and this point p or path of the locus of point p is gives a straight line point is that the connection is made such a way that in order to maintain the right angle this angle 90 degree the path of mo the motion of a point p should be a right angle should be a straight line then only then only the por the portion or the motion of the point p gives a straight line now here now next we are going to the objective remains the same the objective of this straight line motion mechanism is that the motion of the path p or the motion of point p or the projection of the point p should be yes same should be should not be changed the projection of the point p the projection of point remains the same should be same even though if you replace turning pairs the mechanism is made such a way that the motion of the point p is perpendicular to the extension o now here how can we achieve this we are going to achieve the, we are going to achieve this grasshopper mechanism by replacing replacing the sliding pair by rotating pair now this is achieved what we are going to achieve here replace it by turning pair as as perpendicular to this as is perpendicular to with a link as is this is the as is perpendicular to os in the mean position as as is pin jointed as is a pin jointed at a this s is pin jointed at a both now this scott russell or uh, yeah sorry grasshopper mechanism this a yes this s is pin jointed to p and q this again 
PQ equal to QS. Ye yes moves or rotates or oscillates at point about A. This is the mean position. When it is oscillating, when it is oscillating, not complete, the, such a way that the locus of the point P, locus of point P gives perpendicular line to the horizontal oh yes to the horizontal path it is same now let us how to decide how to prove or how to justify it again let us begin if the length of as if the length of AS is large enough, if the length of AS is large enough, it should move when actually large enough, yes moves in an approximated straight line perpendicular to AS. It is not exact straight line, it is an approximate, approximated straight line and perpendicular to AS or in the line or in the line with OS. The AS should move, AS, the path of the AS move, it is not exact straight line, it is approximate straight line and this approximate straight line moves perpendicular to the direction perpendicular to OS. For this when it will happen this exact approximate straight line the motion of the AS should be a small angular portions. It should be a small angular portion. If it is large what will happen? When it, if it is large motion then it moves complete curvature it, it, the motion of the path AS should not affect the locus of the point P. So, and the locus motion, in order to maintain the straight line motion, the, path, the motion of the AS, angular motion of the AS, such a way that it should be a approximated straight line. Approximated straight line it should be a approximated straight line now again what will happen when it is an approximated straight line p again will move in an approximated straight line provided if qs is proportional if qs is what is the qs qs is the mean proportional between OQ and QP. That is the condition. QS is the mean proportional between OQ and QP. Then what will happen? The relation. What is the relation? OQ by this OQ by QS. OQ by QS equal to again relation to QS. QS by QP. So what is the meaning here? O Q by Q S equal to Q S by Q P. So that means here P Q equal to Q S that is equal to O Q. So that is the relation. That is O Q by Q S equal to that ratio should be maintained same. Then we can get a approximated straight line of point P. So that's why it, grasshopper mechanism comes under the category of under the category of approximated straight line mechanism. Approximate straight line mechanism 
it is not another manner it is not a exact straight line motion mechanism it is not a exact straight line motion mechanism it is a approximate straight line motion mechanism why it is approximate straight line motion mechanism the motion of the or the locus the motion of the point p or the path of point p the path of point p is depended on the motion of as why is the motion of the as the motion of the as is not exact straight line the motion of the as is a approximated straight line the motion of the as is a approximated the motion of as is not a exact straight line it is approximate it is a approximated straight line this is approximated now what is it is a curve you may call it but the motion is such a way that it is approximately moves it is approximately it is not exactly oscillates approximate little bit curvature should be there curvature will get it that motion is such a way that this the motion of the path p or the locus of the point p gives a approximate straight line not exact straight line that's why grasshopper mechanism is also is comes under the category of approximate straight line motion mechanism and grasshopper mechanism is also known as modified scott russell mechanism okay whereas scott russell mechanism is a exact straight line motion mechanism because the slider slides exactly on a straight line that's why the motion of the path b gives straight line this is a scott russell mechanism then the scott russell mechanism it is a slider the slider is exact straight line so the path traced by point p is also exact straight line okay that's why you can see it that's why it comes under the category of exact straight line motion mechanism okay this is scott russell mechanism whereas grasshopper mechanism is a modified version of scott russell mechanism but it is a approximated straight line motion mechanism now the next mechanism is watt mechanism this watt mechanism is also comes under the category of approximate straight line mechanism approximate straight line motion mechanism now this watt mechanism is a is very simple mechanism and how many links it is having it is having four links that's why it is also known as four bar mechanism generally will four bar mechanism means our understanding is this is a four bar mechanism no this watt mechanism also comes under four link mechanism or four bar mechanism but this mechanism what we are drawing is to make it understand it is a simple mechanism in order to understand the concepts of basic kinematics of machines now the links four links are there what is the link one oq oq is the link 
O Q O A. This is O A. And another link is called O Q. Not it is a Q B and A B. Now here fixed link O comma Q. O and Q are fixed links. One and O A link two. This is link three and it is link four. So it is a four link mechanism. Now the links O A and Q B. The links O A. This is the link O A and Q B. The Q B is here. It is the Q B. The link O A and Q B oscillates can oscillates about centers O and Q. Now it is seen that if point P, this point P is the center of the link A B. Point P is on the link on the link ab such that the ratio again such that pa by pb equal to qb by oa this is the link the relation between ratio pb by pa pb by pa that equal to the ratio of pb by pa equal the ratio pb or pa by pb is equal to pa by pb equal to qb by oa these are the things now the ratios the point p the point p is the point which is on the link ab such a way that the ratio of P B P A by P B P A by P B equal to Q B by Q B by O A. Then only when links O A and Q B oscillates about O and Q, then the path of the locus of point P gives approximate straight line. So here very important to get or to obtain. The motion, the locus of the point is straight line, approximate straight line, is the location of point P on the link AB. So we have to locate point P such a way that, such a way that we can obtain a straight line motion. Let us see what will happen here. Here you can see in this animation what is exact this motion. This is that path is is approximate straight line. It is not exact straight line motion. That's why this what mechanism comes under the category of approximate straight line motion mechanism. And one more thing. This very important is that the ratio location of the point P on link A B. And condition is that P A by P B equal to Q B by O A. That should be satisfied. That ratio, this ratio must be satisfied. Then only the location of the point P can be a approximate straight line. Now. For all oscillations of OA and QB. Now, E. Okay, next. This is the what mechanism in animation view. We have to. We are considering approximate straight line of this line. Now, the motion of. What about? This curvature gives the location of the path of or the locus of the point P. It will rotate, but we are considering only we are considering 
this straight line this is also straight line but it is inclined straight line okay but this portion that's why it is comes under the category of approximate straight line motion mechanism next the third very very important mechanism is that chebyshev's mechanism the chebyshev mechanism consists of again four links if we understand the motion of the pa the path of the center point of p gives a straight line this is again point p what are the links are the link oq is the link 1 oa is link 2 qb is link 3 and ab is link 4 as we have seen you can see the similarities between the the construction of the letters notation also it is similar to what mechanism in what mechanism o and q is a fixed link o and q are fixed link and another movable link is oa and another movable link is qb and ab link yes you can see here the chebyshev's mechanism is also four link o and q are fixed links oa qb and ab and the point p is on link ab so these are the conditions so the same links we used here chebyshev mechanism also o q is a fixed link and oa qb and ab are movable links and point p which is the output point uh, shows the motion of whether it is showing a straight line horizontal motion or not horizontal path horizontal direction or the path of a point p is a horizontal here horizontal line that point p is located on the link ab now here and here in this condition p is the midpoint of p is the midpoint of ab so and what is the p here and also not only midpoint it is a tracing point p is the tracing point p is the tracing point and the proportions of the links are taken in such a way that again point p and ab lies point p such a way that point p a and b lies on vertical lines when the extreme positions what is that meaning this is the ab when it is moving extreme condition it moves becomes a straight line okay and again it moves again another extreme direction it becomes a again vertical straight line but the midpoint of p even though it is moving is a point p even though link is moving extreme but the tracing point p traces remains horizontal motion that's why it is a straight line it gives now you see in this figure for left side extreme when link moves left side extreme position the point b becomes b dash and point a becomes a dash but the tracing point p is p dash that is extreme that is left side extreme coming to right side extreme what will happen again right side extreme point p becomes b double dash point a becomes a double dash and point p becomes p double dash so the path of or the locus of point p is remains horizontal straight line that's why it is a it is it, it is this mechanism comes under the category of exact straight line motion mechanism now let us prove let us justify how it is possible 
whether it is horizontal and right, uh, vertical direction. Now, here, A and B line are vert when extreme position, that is, when directly above O or Q, directly above O or Q, that means it is above, this A dash, B dash is above point O, and again, extreme positions, A double dash, B double dash, when it comes to the right, right extreme position, it becomes A double dash and B double dash. Now here, we are assuming that, let consider AB is the one unit and OA equal, OA equal to QB, an equal amount of units, that is X units. And what left? OQ. That OQ we are assuming as Y units. OQ is assuming as Y units. OQ is assuming as Y units. Okay. OQ we are assuming as Y units. Then, when AB is on the extreme left position, when AB is on the extreme left position, we are considering extreme left position. A and B, the positions, when it is in extreme left position, the positions of point A becomes A dash and the position of point B becomes B dash. Now, in triangle, there are two triangles here. We are going to see that in triangle form. What is the triangle here? Triangle O Q B dash. Triangle O Q B dash. This is one triangle. According to Pythagoras theorem, Q B dash, Q B dash square, whole square, minus O Q square, that equal to O B dash square. QB dash square minus QB dash square minus OQ square equal to OB dash square. Now QB dash is nothing but QB dash is nothing is equal to QB. That is QB square minus OQ square equal to OB dash square. This OB dash is not same as OB dash square. Now OB dash is also equal to is nothing but OB in terms of now. What is QB? Here I'll, I'll understand. What is QB? QB equal to X units. Substitute here X. OQ, that is Y units, X square minus Y square. Now this OB dash square in terms of our known units, we don't know what is OB dash. We want in terms of X, X Y and unit 1. Now this OB dash we are making OA dash minus a B dash square, O A dash, this O A dash minus, we want O B, A dash B dash square. Now what is O A dash? O A dash, this O A equal to again, X units, X minus, A dash B dash equal to A B, that A B equal to 1 unit. Now 1, X minus 1, X minus 1 whole square. Now x minus 1 whole square equal to a minus b whole square that is x square minus 2ab that is 2x plus 1 that equal to x square minus y square. Okay. Now what is the next one? Now we know x square minus y square equal to x square minus 2x plus 1. Further simplification that is 2x minus 1 equal to y square. From that x equal to, from that x equal to y square plus 1 by 2. x equal to y square plus 1 by 2. Now, in triangle, next another triangle we are considering. What is the extreme triangle? Another triangle is that OAC. In that OAC, again, O A square minus Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square minus or adjacent, uh, hypotenuse square equal to opposite side square plus adjacent side whole square. Now hypotenuse square minus that is O A square, O A square minus A C square that equal to O C square. 
we know that rho a equal to what is rho a equal to x units x minus and ac how it comes ac is nothing but op double dash now that op double dash again further simplification what we are doing is that rho a dash minus where is that rho a dash this op dash we want now that is rho a dash minus a dash p dash rho a dash in this much minus a dash p dash then it comes o dash p dash this o dash p dash is nothing but o dash p dash equal to a c now o dash a dash p dash whole square that equal to again a p dash in terms of we want x units y units and units one now a p dash equal to a p dash equal to a p dash equal to p p dash plus a p you understand a p dash is this much this a p dash equal to p p p dash plus a p substitute here now what is o a equal to x units x square minus o a x units minus a dash p dash this a dash p dash a dash p dash is half of that one that is 1 by 2 whole square equal to p p dash what is the p p dash equal to p p dash equal to y by 2 this p p dash is equal to p p dash equal to approximate half of that this total distance what is the p p dash this is y by 2 plus a p that a p equal to again 1 by 2 because a b equal to 1 units then bp ap equal to bp equal to 1 by 2 units substitute over here and multiply it then not simplification x square minus x minus 1 by 2 whole square that is a minus b whole square x square plus 1 by 4 a square plus b square minus 2ab 2x minus 2x times 1 by 2 that is x again y by 2 plus 1 by 2 whole square y square by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 2 times again it becomes y by 2 then from this equation x equal to y square by 4 plus y by 2 plus 1 by 2 now we know that before equation this is equation 1 and it is equation 2 equate equation 1 equal equation 2 y square by y square by 4 y square by 2 plus 1 by 2 y square by 2 plus 1 by 2 equal to y square by 4 plus y by 2 plus 1 by 2 from that y square by 4 equal to y square by 4 equal to y by 2 then y equal to 2 then we know that x equal to y square plus 1 by 2 substitute y equal to 2 that is 2 square plus 1 by 2 that is 2.5 now if you want the ratios of main there are fixed link is oq is the fixed link but we want a ratio of a b is to oq is to o a what is that a b is one unit what is that oq this oq equal to oq equal to y units what is that y equal to two units we got to two then o a o a is the x what is that x equal to 2.5 this is the ratio when the ratio between links a b o q and o a is 1 is to 2 is to 2.5 then the path traced by point p gives a horizontal straight line which is parallel to o q this is the condition in examination directly they may ask you that indirectly they will ask what is the design the link mechanism the ratio or prove that the ratio of the links between links a b o q and o a equal to 1 is to 2 is to 2.5 then it comes under the category of chebyshev mechanism chebyshev mechanism so it is a very important mechanism in order to obtain the horizontal straight line motion mechanism Okay, all the motion before we have studied is either straight line motion 
or approximate straight line motion, vertical line. Now, in this mechanism, we got a horizontal straight line. So, if you turn mechanism, we'll get the way which straight line you want. But it is a, uh, by comparing with other mechanisms, it gives horizontal. Other mechanisms are considered as a vertical, a vertical line, but this mechanism gives a horizontal line. If we consider you design or you change the position of before mechanisms, Fischler mechanism, Hertz mechanism, Watt mechanism, if you change the direction, those mechanisms getting horizontal straight line, that means this vertical Chebyshev mechanism, if you change the position, it gives also vertical straight line. But it, this Chebyshev mechanism is an uh, exact straight line motion mechanism. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.